Hi, I'm Carter Emmart from the American Museum of Natural History, and you've got a solar eclipse. I'm the director for astrovisualization here at the museum. My job is to translate the science, which can often be difficult and quite detailed, into understandable stories that we present in the dome immersively for our audiences here. On May 20th, we have an annular solar eclipse, which means that the moon in its orbit is just a little too far away for it to completely cover the sun. An annular eclipse is where you actually see a ring of the sun around the moon. The safest way to view uh, an eclipse like this, where the sun is not completely covered, is basically have a pinhole and a projection. In a pinhole, you would see the ring on a card that you might hold away from the pinhole. We notice with trees, many little pinholes are created just by the vegetation, and so that we see multiple instances of the sun sort of projected below trees. This eclipse on the 20th of May is quite exciting because it will rise over China and then will proceed right across Japan and then will cross the northern Pacific just below the Bering Straits and then come in just north of San Francisco, proceed across the western United States and its center line goes right along Albuquerque around sunset. So if you're in Albuquerque, what you'd see is a ring of fire setting in the west. 